Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, I want to show you guys how you can reset your web switches. It's really easy and simple. Uh, your first thing you do want to do is probably find the manual for it. Uh, you can either find it probably on the internet or if you have the packaging for it, then it'll have it there. So I'll go ahead and take a picture though. And I'll put it on the corner up here so you guys can uh, read that and, you know, can help you guys out hopefully. So the first thing you want to do, like it says on the manual, is you do want to solve the water problem first, which obviously that's the main issue, the main concern. And then on top of that, you do want to go ahead and take all the water from wherever the wet switch is at away or dry it off. Use a vacuum, you know, wet dry vacuum. And then um, also... Go ahead and get the uh, wet switch and you can use either the vacuum or you can use a blow dryer on the back and then just dry it up as much as you can. And then basically your last step would end up being you just having to uh, press the reset button, which is the green button on the switch, and then it would reset and then your AC should be back up and running. Um, I do recommend you monitor monitor the uh, switch probably for a good 15 to 20 minutes after you've done that whole process it can sometimes trip again because it senses moisture so if it does end up uh, tripping again all you gotta do is just repeat those steps all over again until you're sure it doesn't trip again basically it's really easy and simple i'll go ahead and show you guys how i do it on an ac unit and then you guys will have an idea of how to do it yourselves okay all right guys so here is the wet switch right there on the floor if you can see that the the light is red meaning that it does detect the moisture okay and we have water in this pan so it's basically off okay so this pad is wet okay guys so if you see that it does not want to reset uh, that is okay uh, you just have to let this thing dry and then we can also use the vacuum on it and we'll dry it up and then we can put it back in there okay do not replace this if it's wet all right only replace this if it's actually messed up okay guys all right so let's go ahead and clean up all this water first all right you want to use yourself a vacuum all right guys so even though we use the vacuum it may still be slightly wet or moist so we want to get some rags go ahead and just clean this up or not clean right but dry it up as best you can next thing is your switch go ahead and wipe that off a little bit watch this it's probably still not going to yeah okay so now we're going to get the vacuum and we're going to put it on here Okay guys, so as you saw that, um, I sometimes keep pressing the button just to see when it's able to start to reset. Um, after it's able to reset, basically I just leave it off for a little while more and I just keep on sucking more on it. Or I just keep the vacuum on it to keep on getting that moisture out just in case. And then, bam. We go ahead and leave it here. Make sure it's not wet down here. Put it back down. Okay. And then, honestly, you just want to monitor that for the next 15 to 20 minutes. 
and we should be okay but that is how you go through the procedures of uh, making sure you reset that wet switch correctly uh, do not and I'm telling you guys do not replace those um, I, I rarely see them go bad to be honest with you all right guys so there you go the switch has reset it's been running for 20 minutes and you're good to go there's no issues so you can go ahead and leave it like that all right guys I uh, thank you guys for watching the video I hope you guys learned something uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe and have a great day guys